Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my March empties for 2018. Um, I do have a bunch of sample empties, which you guys can check out in my sample project pans. I can link those down below. I'm just going to run through them super quickly here, but I am going to show you all the empties I have for beauty products. I have some vitamins, some essential oils, stuff like that. So if you guys want to see my March empties, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first empty I have is a refill. So it is the, from Meyer brand and it is the antibacterial foaming hand soap refill and it is in the pear scent. This one I really did enjoy when I could smell. I don't have a good sniffer in the winter time, but it does have a really convenient little top here that you can kind of push it into your other bottles. Carter loves using the foaming soap. He says he likes that kind the best. So I buy the big refill refills and they save us a lot of money. So if you guys are interested, Meyer is a brand. I think that it's only in the Midwest, Northeast area. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that they are expanding, but I honestly buy the Meyer brand more often than like the soft soap and stuff because it's cheaper and it's the exact same ingredients. Just saying. So I did really enjoy this. I probably will repurchase in the future, but right now we have tons of hand soaps that we are gonna go through before I start purchasing more. So there's that. And as per usual, as you guys already saw, I'm gonna be putting the total and then the running total on all of these items so you guys can see what my totals were for the month. The next item I have here is from Neutrogena and it is the Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes 25 Pack Refill. I like buying these big bulk packs at Costco. I get four of these and then two of the sample sizes and they last me a really long time. I pretty much only have one, maybe two of these in each of my empties. So I really don't use makeup up more than 25 times a month if that makes sense to you guys I only use these when I'm removing my makeup and I don't wear makeup every single day so and I only use one I don't need more than one because I do have a cleansing routine I do after so I'm not gonna waste a second one unless I have like tons of lip swatches to remove or something like that but I would just use something else honestly but yeah, I really do love these. I use them all the time. They do leave an oily kind of film on your face, but I always wash my face after, so it doesn't bother me. It removes my makeup very, very well. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I recommend these to everybody. I love them. So the next one I have is the Garnier Fertis Grow Strong Strength Activator Root to Tip Serum. I love this serum. It works so well. It costs me $5.99 at Kmart. I have the sticker actually right here. I love this stuff. I think I looked it up online though and it was a bit cheaper I wanna say than that. So I'm gonna post the current price online. But I use this all the time. I use it right when I get out of the shower. My hair is starting to dry. I'll put just like a dollop size, like maybe a quarter at most, in my hands, rub them together, run them through my roots, underneath my hair, and then all the way to the ends. I don't like to put this in my ends first because it's too thick and it weighs my ends down. So, But I do really enjoy this in my roots and it doesn't make my roots greasy at all. I will be repurchasing once I'm done with the current one I'm using. I'm using it as something different than this that you guys will see in probably my next empties but I will, I will be repurchasing this in the future. The next item is this Axe Phoenix Re Revitalizing Shower Gel. You guys have seen this in one of my vlogs where I cleaned out, it's like cleaning out my closet vlogs or whatever, where I cleaned out my linen closet and I have a bunch of these that I wanna use up. My husband gets these from Christmas a ton of times and he doesn't use body wash in this form. He uses bar soap, which is perfectly fine and actually better for the environment because then you're not wasting a ton of plastic. Um, I will be recycling this, but I didn't really like smelling like man all the time, but I was feeling very, very clean after this and I felt like it worked really well. I wouldn't repurchase this at all, um, but we do have a few more to get through and I will be using those up just to get them done. But I'm, I am happy to have this done. It did smell really nicely if I wanted to smell like a man, but it didn't stay on all day, which was nice. It just stayed on for the morning. So it wasn't long lasting at all, but it was very cleansing and it didn't hurt my hoo-ha when I washed down there in that area because I do have problems problems with some soaps hurting in that area if that makes sense sorry to have like way too much TMI but just being honest here ladies and gentlemen 
but this one didn't hurt at all. So I wouldn't repurchase this, but it was nice to use up. The next item is a vitamin and it is from Nature Made. It is the Sublingual B12 vitamin and it is 100 MCGs. And this is the 50 count pack. I think these were buy one, get one free. So I have two of those. Um, one of these we are working on right now, but I take a vitamin B12 supplement because you guys do know I don't eat much meat. I do once in a while eat a meal containing meat, but typically I don't eat any meat at all or super, super little meat. I am almost, I want to say like, I'm like going towards, I was completely vegan over last summer and then now I've kind of gotten back out of that habit and then I've been kind of getting back into it. So I have been eating a significant amount less of any meats and da dairy products I don't do at all. I had ice cream the other day and I didn't realize that it wasn't almond milk ice cream and I was gassy and bloated and oh, my stomach was hurting so bad for like three days in a row, it was terrible. So that reminds me why I don't eat dairy. I don't do cheeses or anything like that. So I really do like to take this vitamin to make sure that I'm getting my B12 in for the day. And this is fine, I just let it dissolve under my tongue. It's perfectly fine, my son takes it too. Um, just because he's kind of more gearing towards the same as me, more of a plant-based whole foods diet. And yeah. Anyways, I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a supplement of B12. The next item I have is the Olay Fresh Effects Acne Control Face Wash, and this has the essence of mandarin orange and green tea in it. This is very, very old. It has since been discontinued. You guys saw this in my bathrooms shower essentials last summer. I love this. It was so gentle on the skin. I literally washed my face with my eyes like almost open one time just to see if it would irritate my eyes and it doesn't irritate the eyes at all which is super super nice. And yeah I would definitely repurchase this if they had the same formula. Unfortunately the formula has changed and you can't find this exact kind. I even tried looking this up on eBay and on Amazon to see if they still had it and they did not. So I did link down below a product from the Olay brand if you guys wanted to check it out but unfortunately this one has been discontinued. I did love it though and I would be willing to try something from Olay again in the future just because that one was so nice on the skin. And then the final empty I have for you is from Nature's Truth and it is the Aromatherapy Calming Essential Oil Blend and I love this one for at night. It is a rollerball which is fine so I'd kind of set it upside down but it was so nice to just roll on. I can't really smell it anymore, but it has a very like fresh, kind of citrusy, florally scent. I don't know, but it was very, very calming. I would put it on the bottom of my feet, on my brainstem, and behind my ears, and it really did help me fall asleep and make me smell really nice when I fell asleep, which was nice. I'm not sure, my husband didn't say he noticed anything or any scent or anything like that, which was good because sometimes I put stuff on and he's like, oh, what are you wearing? You know, he doesn't like it. So this was really nice. It was very, very gentle on the skin. It soaked in very quickly. I didn't have to wear socks to bed or anything like that because that's weird for me at least. It's okay for you if you like it, but I don't like wearing socks to bed. And yeah, I would definitely repurchase this. I have a couple different kinds of essential oils I'm trying out right now, but so far I really, really did like this calming one and I will leave a link for it below. You can get it at quite a few different places if you want to try it out, but I really enjoyed it. So I also forgot to show you guys that I emptied this Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm and this is the original one. Here is the inside. I like dug it down trying to get all the product out of there. I love these lip balms. I buy them all the time and I usually get a bunch for Christmas time so they last me all year. I wish that they were cruelty free. They are not but... Or I mean they are cruelty free but they're not vegan obviously because they have beeswax in them but this is the one that works the best for me. Um, I do love it and I enjoy using this and I repurchase them all the time so I will continue to do so until I find something better. So that was all my empties for the month, all my like full size items which is crazy. So I'm just going to run through a few of my sample empties that I had um, from the first part of the month and the second part of the month and then that is all the empties I have for the whole month. So I had this Barefoot Venus Wildflower Hand Balm, I loved that. This Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer in Natural Glow, and this was in Fair to Medium. I would definitely get Medium to Tan. 
I used up this Biobel hashtag stay gorgeous, not my favorite mask. I used up this 7th Heaven Tea Tree Peel Off Mask. I love this one, definitely repurchase. This Nivea In Shower Body Lotion Radiant Silk 2-in-1 exfoliates and moisturizes. This was the weirdest product ever. I would not repurchase that. Then this hashtag primer by Biobel face mask. I really enjoyed that. This Heather Mariana collagen gel lip mask. I really enjoyed this one. This What's Up bronzer by Elizabeth Mott. And it is a matte bronzer. I used that all up. Here's all the pan. I just want to show this pan like 50 times. I'm so happy about this. I did buy the full size. This is the Swartzkopf Gliss Harry Pear Ultra Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner in the white packaging. I would not purchase the white. I would purchase the black packaging. The Novax Argan Oil Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. Would not repurchase. Made my hair pretty soft, but not my favorite. The Delectable Everything Balm. Definitely not worth its price and its weight terrible product. I didn't like that one. Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion Sample. I loved this. Was perfect for me at work. The Platinum Skincare Basics Day Cream Little Sampler. I liked it for a night cream, but I wouldn't repurchase. Then the Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. I think there's like a bacteria growing in there, so I got rid of that one. I did like it though when I was using it. And then the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Dolly. This is completely cleaned out. I love this. I have since repurchased already and I really do enjoy it. So yeah, and then I am also decluttering this Wim Nail Lacquer in the shade Marshmallow Muse from my 8x Easter Project Pan. It's making my nails peel terribly bad and I don't think it's worth it. And plus I bought a Kale Polish white um, nail polish to use instead, so I'm just gonna get rid of this one. There's no point of terrorizing my nails with a nail polish that doesn't work for me, so Yes, so that was all of my empties and all my sample empties for the month of March Let me know how you guys did with your sample empties and with your regular empties I would like to know your totals if you add them up like I do because I'm crazy and I like to know how much product I'm using Let me know down below in your number totals and your money total if you have that down in the comments, I would love to see how much you guys are using up. Probably more than me, but I'm only one person and I pretty much am the only one that uses any kind of beauty products and stuff in my house unless I force my husband to exfoliate his nose and stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.